Hello all, welcome back. Today we will discuss about that is how to write the wall structure using the afread and afrite. So let's first declare the structure. So I'm just writing here struct student. Now here I'm just declaring the two structure members. One is integer roll number and another one is character name of 20. Now I want to write the data into the structure and that I want to write into the file so that we can achieve using the concept of f write and f read. If you want to write the structure, you can use the function f write and if you want to read the structure, you can use the function f read. So first of all, I just want to declare the variable over here. So I'm just declaring here struct student and I'm declaring an array s of for example 50. Now I want to ask to the user enter how many records you want. So I'm declaring here n and i for iteration. So I'm writing here printf enter how many students you want. And I'm just scanning the n over here m person n. Now if user says that I want the five records then I want to iterate the same up to five. So I'm writing here i equal to zero i less than n i plus plus. Now I want to get the data, so I'm just simply calling here printf enter. Now I will get the roll number first, so I'm just writing here enter roll number scanf percentage d m percent s of i dot roll number. Now you can just copy the same content and you can get the name of the student, for example enter name and whenever we are accessing the name at that time we will not use the m person and this will be simply percentage s now once this data is get from the user i want to write the same data into the file so whenever you want to write the data into the file you need a file structure so i'm just writing here file pointer fp i want to write the data into file so i just i will just use the function app open the name of the file for example student.txt I want to open this file in w plus mode why because I want to write the record first and then I want to read the same so I'm just writing here w plus and then you can simply use the function that is f write after getting the record of the student you can use the function over here that is f write here in f write you can provide the four arguments the first argument is which structure you want to write so here you can just provide the address of s of i so your structure first record will be written if i equal to zero then what is the size of your structure so you can just provide size of struct student so how many data you want to write how many element you want to write so i want to write the one element so i'm passing here one then here you can provide in which file you want to write the same so you can use the fp it means in this particular file the data will be written and at last you can simply close your file f close of fp so whenever you do this it will simply ask you for the data and that is what how many students you want for example if i want the three students then i will provide here three one zero one ram 102 for example Lakshman 103 for example Bharat now just data is written to the file now I want to read the same content whenever you want to read the same content you can simply save this program as for example demo 11 now I want to read the data whenever you want to read the data we will read the data one by one so at that time we don't need the how many students are there and at that time we will simply open our file in the read mode definitely we don't need this that is enter how many roll number and all those things so we will simply remove this now I want to read the data whenever you want to read the data you can simply write over here and that is f read function here in f read also four arguments are there first is the thing that is in which you want the data for example, I want the data in the student variable that is S1. So I will just pass here address, address of S1. Now, what is the size of your student? So for example, size of struct student. How many elements you want to read? For example, one and from which file? So here you can provide the argument that is FP. Now this data will be loaded into variable S1. And whenever you print this, for example, if I am printing here, percentage minus 10d 
and percentage minus 20s and if I write here s1.reno s1.name then it will simply read the one record and whenever you run this you will get the first record that is 101 RAM. So what is the biggest advantage whenever you do this for example if you think that sir I want this two times then you can simply write here one loop that is i equal to 0 i less than 2 i plus plus if you write two times then it will simply read the two records only but what if i don't know how many records available when i don't know how many records are available at that time you can simply pass this your afrid function in a while loop for example i'm writing here while here in a while loop you can provide here your afrid function and afrid function will read the one by one value from the file pointer if it's not able to read the data it will simply read in the zero and if it is zero then while loop will not be executed and here you can simply pass a slash n so what happened if you have written the three records then definitely you will be able to read the three records over here and that will be 101 102 and 103 ram lakshman and parath so very simple using the f read we can read the wall structure and using the f write we can write the wall structure so this is the way you can read and write the structure data using the function f read and f write in a file handling so that's it from my side if you like this video then please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you very much have a nice day